We've probably seen a lot of layoffs in the past year or two. The numbers are pretty crazy. Like according to TechCrunch, in 2023, companies like PayPal, GitHub, GitLab, Twitter, Microsoft, Meta, Twitch, Amazon, Google, all taking terms to lay off lots of their employees. I mean, for Salesforce, even did like twice rounds of layoffs in January and March. Unfortunately, this is the case nowadays that I am just so sad to see so many news talking about layoffs here and layoffs there in the tech industry. Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg is laying off 11,000 workers. Thousands of jobs lost. Elon Musk now owns and of course runs Twitter. Inside Facebook's New York City headquarters, fired workers are expressing heartbreak. That's about 13% of its workforce. So in today's video, let's talk about the impacts of layoffs on the job market and are there even opportunities for new developers at all? Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Vicky May and I am a software engineer in New York City. In this channel, you are going to learn so much about learning how to code, web development, and anything that are related to tech. So if you like this type of content, maybe consider subscribing to this channel. Firstly, it is important to acknowledge that even though a lot of the tech companies have been mainly affected by the pandemic or since the pandemic, there are a lot of layoffs. The tech industry overall is still growing i would say and in fact there are many companies are still hiring technical roles especially in areas such as cybersecurity, data analytics, and even e-commerce. Because of that, there are so many companies are seeing the importance of online businesses and they are looking for opportunities to move their operations into online business. And there are so many examples that has happened in the past and you definitely know, you know, news talking about how shop and the other online platform services companies has spiked up during the pandemic and ever since the pandemic has hit the world. Therefore, there are job opportunities that created in areas like web development, software engineering, and digital marketing. Not even to mention how fast AI has growing and how automations in every single discussions of speeding up the development time. The third thing that I wanted to mention is that ever since the pandemic, there are so many people feeling way more comfortable working from home. And I think that a lot of the companies are also feeling more comfortable having their employees to be working from home or even just like coming into the office like twice a week or once a week, right? And including myself in the past, I would have to go into the office like every day. And now now I get to move a little bit further away from the city and I get to work from home. I have my own home setups here and I still go back to the office, but it's just not how it used to be. And I would say that is actually a good news for us because if you really think about how now all the employers are more open to hiring remote developers, which means it opens up the opportunities all over the world. You can apply for jobs overseas, you can have opportunities way more than just limited to your location or your region. Obviously, I am not a crystal ball. I cannot just promise you everything is going to be perfect. You don't have to worry. Things are going to go well for sure. But I do know that a lot of the tech layoffs are concerning to new developers who are trying to get their step into to the door who is trying to get into tech. But for this video, the purpose is that I wanted to remind you that it doesn't mean there's no opportunities at all and you should not feel pessimistic about all of these layoffs in the tech industry. In fact, there are companies are still hiring for tech roles and 
the shift towards remote work is open up a lot of opportunities nowadays. So what do you think? If you are a new developer, please leave comments down below and let me know what you think. And I would love to hear what your thoughts about all these tech layoffs news. I would say that instead of worrying too much about all of these things are happening and you have no control over it, instead, you should be focusing on building your skills, your knowledge, and keep an eye out for new job opportunities. If you are enjoying this video, give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and make sure to watch the other videos that I mentioned about ChatGPT and AIs and my point of view about those technologies. And until next time, I would talk to you soon. Stay safe. Adios.